Um, hi, we're, I'm Nicole. Um, I'm Maddie, and our passion project was which animals have aggression and why? Um, we did six, an five animals. Five. Five animals, and we made posters on why they're aggressive and which animals they are. So we picked five animals. Um, they are hippo, rhino, and bear and elephant, and then we have Shamu, which we, is our main one. Um, it's um, a whale named Tilakum, who was at um, one of the aquariums, but he um, had lots of aggression towards humans, and, and we, we were found wondering his, why. Yeah, we wondered why, so we found his story. So we'll start with Shamu. Since he's like our main story. And um, anyways, we'll talk about other Shamu first. Um, so, yeah, so in the wild, um, Shamu are a threat to humans. We don't look at them as a threat. And um, there's really only been a few attacks documented, and only one of them have been fatal. So in the wild, Shamu are not known to kill people or have aggression uh, towards them. Shamu is also known as kill. Yes, she's she's like gonna say that. Yeah. Um, or orcas, as some yeah. people refer to them. But then in captivity, lots of these animals are more aggressive. Like if you look up Sea World um, attacks, there's like a whole list of them, and lots of the reasons why these animals have um, aggression in captivity is because they have such small tanks. And to these animals, the tanks are like the size of a bathtub. So what we call a bathtub is, is like what, what they, they call, call a bathtub, bathtub in that like big area. So lots of the reason why this um, one has um, problems mm -hmm. is one, he was torn away from his family, but two, he's been in captivity and these tanks are just so small. So um, Nicole's gonna tell you the story. Another reason is sometimes the, since um, the whales aren't treated very well, even though they say they are, um, the whales can get sunburn, but they people don't take care of them. They just cover them with black oil, so it looks like oh, they're fine, they're shiny, they're healthy. This is yeah, that's so also reasons why they're the like that. The story of Tilakum, which is also known as Shamu, who had lots of aggression towards animals, and he actually killed, killed three, three people, people in thirty years. Okay, so the story is Tilakum is twelve thousand five hundred pounds and twenty two feet. So yeah, I know I am. And then Tilakum was, um, he was taken away from his family when he was two years old. So when they were out searching for whales, he, they took Tilakum when he was two. And at the aquarium, he, he was sent. Okay, so at the aquarium, they sent him to, um, as a training technique, they withheld food from Tilakum, Tilakum. So he did not get fed properly as a training technique, who is it, which is actually very so bad. he would only be fed if um, he, he did, did things, things right. right and everything. And he was forced to perform eight times every day. So he would perform every hour each day when the aquarium was open. And then once the aquarium that he was at, the first aquarium he was at, when it closed, Tilakum, slash, like, was also known as um, Shamu, um, was sent to um, um, the sea was, world well, in one of the sea worlds. So um, when he actually prefer, performed, he performed every day, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and the aquarium closed. So the reason why SeaWorld bought him is because they thought, oh, he's the biggest whale in captivity. This would be great for us. And actually, um, when Tilakum was at the other um, aquarium, something we don't have on here, at night he was put in a really small tank with two other females. And Tilakum was still very small at this time. So he would actually get beat up by these two females. They would go at him aggressively. And no one really knew that, and even if they did, they still did not care because it was all about just making the money. And uh, um, since Tilakum was treated so badly, just like other animals, 
Um, Tilakun, like most um, whales, he killed three trainers because he was treated so badly. And um, that's why um, whales to this day still have so much aggression towards humans because we were, it was our fault that um, um, these whales hurt people because we treat them so badly. Um, interesting fact, me and Nicole actually went to um, a sea world in Florida, and this is actually the one that bought Tilikum, and Tilikum still performs at that aquarium today, and me and Nicole actually got to see him perform. perform. So, um, it's and kind of interesting because yeah. um, we think that they wouldn't perform him anymore because he had been so bad because we treat him so badly, but to this day, still, he still performs. Yeah, so if you're wondering, does he still live? Yes, you can actually go see him in the Florida Sea World. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, Um, next we'll do bears and um, elephants. So, do elephants first. Um, our elephants, um, they are, you wouldn't actually think they're aggressive, but they actually can be. So, elephants in India can kill usually 200 people a year and that's a lot more than you would expect. So this is an, an this is an average only in, in India. So like they can have they can kill more people than this. This is just an average from India. And in India they can um, also be known to kill an entire village. So you would think in India people would start treating them better so they wouldn't kill as many people and destroy things but they still treat them badly, so they For kill example, villages. For example, some people, lots of um, herds of elephants can have aggression because um, hunters try to kill the oldest ele elephant. So to get they, their like tusks and To their get their tusks itself. and skin. So usually the older ones were the leaders of the groups. So when if they kill the older ones, what then, are they supposed to do? Yeah, so then all of the, like, teenager ones and, like, younger ones had to step up to the plate and start leading. And this was very hard for them, and this makes them Since upset. They were so young, Since it makes them upset. So that's another reason why some of them can have, um, aggression. aggression. Um, another really interesting one is, um, that females who don't have tusks can have aggression. Nicole, want to tell them why? Um, they have aggression because they're starting to feel like like they aren't as strong as all the other animals because when they have tusks, tusks, that's what they use to attack. So then the females start feeling insecure. Like they aren't as strong um, and as they aren't a leader as much as everyone, as like the teenagers are. So, so actually, females usually tend to have more aggression than because, the male elephants because they want to feel that they are as aggressive as they are. So they try to work harder, even though they don't have their main thing to attack. And next, we have the bears. Lots of you guys probably know bears. Um, usually bears are aggressive when their territory gets threatened, or um, when their cubs get threatened. And um, also, even when they um, when people threaten their territory, they can get even more aggressive. Um, even more aggressive, aggressive if um, they um, get surprised, and that is especially during eating. Um, when um, more brown, brown and black bears attack when they're in like wild captivity. No, they don't. Don't, I mean. So, it's the opposite of the Shamu. Keep going. Um, then when they're in captivity, um, so usually it's the opposite of the Shamu. There's more attacks when they're not in captivity. Um, and most bear attacks happen when they're in groups that are less than six, um, people. People, or, yeah, groups. People groups of six people. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then um, our last two, rhino and hippos, there are different kinds of rhinos. So our black rhinos are usually more aggressive than our white rhinos. And another reason why our rhinos can attack is because of their eyesight. They actually have really poor eyesight. 
So this can make them charge at moving objects since they can't see so clearly. And then mother rhinos will attack if their calves are threatened, and that's um, a theme across all of these animals usually. And then male rhinos are usually more aggressive. And lots of rhinos will have aggression towards other rhinos and other animals too. Even though they attack people, they may attack more um, like rhinos or other ones um, or other animals. Um, and the hippo, when the hippos have like, or when like moms and dad hippos have young hippos to care for, they become more aggressive because they want to protect their young. And also, when there's less food in the area or less water, since they live in water, since they're in water for like for a really really long time during the day, they can also um, be more aggressive then. And and hippos an interesting fact yeah. is that um they will sometimes eat humans, but they are vegetarians, which we find very interesting. But these are reasons for defense purposes. Yeah, they only kill people or humans when they are defensive and when people are trying to attack them or, um, or get things from them. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.